right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're going to go take a look at the Super Strike Mecha Frieza. Um, I feel like this Mecha Frieza could potentially be a solid option. I mean, we'll see what will happen once Wicked Bloodline sort of rounds into shape, right? Um, for this Mecha Frieza to be at full power, um, you basically do want him to be on a Wicked Bloodline full-on category team. I'm running him on Ginyu's Terrifying Conqueror team filled up with Wicked Bloodline units. We'll have to wait till next turn to get the full Wicked Bloodline rotation. Now, let me just pop this because we got a bad field of uh, key real quick. So, Mecha Frieza, right, is getting a lot of buffs based upon his key, right? 100% attack and defense when key is 6 or more. Another 100% attack and defense when key is 9 or more. Another 50% attack and defense when key is 12 or more. So, we can grab this. And uh, does this actually pop no it doesn't even pop right there his defense because his defense i think is much higher than that right um then he gets another 100 percent defense if all allies are wicked bloodline which we don't have right here um and then he has a high chance to crit if all units in the same turn are revived warriors and then he also gets another 50 percent attack and defense if the enemy is in attack down status so it's like i think um on turns with a lot of wicked bloodline characters we potentially could see him three million right there i mean that's no support because we're okay and then we got an additional super he's at three point like basically three million again all right he does uh lower enemy uh attack on a super attack effect and he raises defense for one turn i mean that was not really a great rotation i think we only had two links activated um prodigies and universe's most malevolent his Link set is certainly not what I would consider a good one, right? He, he doesn't really have... It, it, it's just kind of a mess, is what I would say. Let me look at his Link set in a second, and I'll show you guys what I mean. Um, that, I think, is going to be an issue for him, because one of the strengths of, like, these Frieza and Cooler units is all of the just, like, common, like, powerful Links. You know, Universe's Most Malevolent, Strongest Clan in Space... You know, Fierce Battle, Big Bad Bosses, stuff like that. Mecha Frieza doesn't have Strongest Clan in Space, and he also does not have um, Big Bad Bosses. So, like, that alone it certainly would hurt his placement on the Wicked Bloodline team. I'm sure we could find some spots for him, but that will definitely hurt, right? Like, you really want to be running Big Bad Bosses characters, I feel like. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got right here on this turn, right? Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and do this, just that, uh, third form freeze is not locked in place. Yeah, it's just Prodigies and, um, uh, Universe's Most Malevolent. So his Link set is Prodigies, Mechanical Menaces, um, Universe's Most Malevolent, Bombardment. Like, okay, okay, so Prodigies, Mechanical Menaces, Bombardment, Universe's Most Malevolent, Revival, Super Strike, and Shattering Limit. See, it's just like a mess. Which one is Mechanical Menaces? I think it's this one. Mechanical Menaces. It's like, I, I guess he'll link up pretty good with that Super Strike Android 16, I guess. Right? Like, because we're going to have Bombardment, Super Strike, Mechanical Menaces. This link, by the way, I think this is giving, what, two key and is that 5% damage reduction? It is. So, like, this is a good link to have activated, but we're not... I, like, Frieza doesn't have a team with 16. Target Goku, I guess? And yeah, we could run him with 16 for Target Goku and get that activated, but, you know, then we wouldn't get the 100% defense from Wicked Bloodline, too. This Mecha Frieza might look a lot better once uh, King Cold gets his Awakening as well. Because remember, King Cold passively lowers the enemy's attack, which would activate Frieza's, um, uh, like, like, buff. Um, and then King Cold also would have all this sh these shenanigans, right? Like bombardment and stuff like that. So, all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Actually, does this Frieza... Can he be attack debuffed? He can. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's see what Mecha Frieza does on this turn. So, we have the full Wicked Bloodline team. You know, we got third form Frieza's giving us a bunch of support. Uh, final form Frieza's not giving support because it's not a Goku family enemy, remember. So let's see how we do here. I think Link set is going to be a major issue, right? Because, like, Revival you could get with some characters. Um, you know, Prodigies and Universe's Most Malevolent are very common. But a lot of these other Links will be weird. 4.82. And then it's like, I'm not sure how to calc exactly what his defense is. But it's like, he was at 100%. 
Then he got 30% from his super attack effect, another 100%, another 100%, another 50%, and then another 50%. So he was... Frieza got an extra 300% defense there. I mean, if he's at 100%, right? Like, or if he's at, like, 100k, like, what does that put him at? Like, 400k defense right there? So, like, that's... That is interesting, potentially being at that, right? Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's do another run. L let's keep looking at what uh, Mecha Frieza looks like. All right, guys. Let's see what Mecha Frieza looks like here. Okay. So this is going to be a very strong turn for him, um, link-wise, as well as, you know, Goku is already attack debuffed. Because the thing about King Cold, right, is that King Cold will come in on the rotation, and he lowers enemy attack just from his passive, right, 25%. I remember King Cold was very helpful back in the day uh, with the OG uh, LR Goku grind. If you guys were back around, you know, like 2016 time, King Cold was very helpful for that Goku um, uh, LR grind, the very first LR, right? Um, so let's do this. So we'll be able to get Mecha Frieza to our full um, attack right there. So this is going to be Mecha Frieza with all of his buffs active. I mean, I guess except for, you know, the high chance to crit if all allies are revived warrior. I don't know how often we're going to do that. Who are revived warrior Frieza characters? Mecha Frieza... Angel Frieza, Angel Golden Frieza, and then regular Golden Frieza. Yeah. So, I mean, if we get an LR Golden Frieza from Resurrection F, that could be good. We do need that. The Revived Warrior team needs help. Many of the characters on that team are just really not too effective or too effective at working well together. So, we're getting support from uh, the final form Frieza right here, right? Uh, we have Prodigies, Universe's Most Malevolent, Bombardment and Super Strike active. Remember that Bombardment and Super Strike, dude? Yeah, we're talking about 20% attack and then 25% attack. So that's 45% attack. That's why, I like, this Mecha Frieza and King Cold could be a very interesting combo. 5.51 right there, okay. I, I, again, I don't know exactly what his defense is, but, I mean, it's at least, like, 400k, right? Like, it's, it's somewhere around there. Um... I could see this Mecha Frieza King Cold rotation being solid in some way. I don't know what stage or how, or, or what, right? Maybe... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Well, that's fine. Um, maybe, like, a, a potential, like, Super Battle Road stages or something like that. These two, I think, could be killers, right? Like, if, if King Cold... Like, if, imagine if his passive gets buffed even more, right? And imagine he's, like, lowering enemy attack by 30% and he's doing stuff... You know, and then you can have Mecha Frieza, who is going to have a reasonable amount of damage. He debuffs, right? The attack debuff is always very good for Super Battle Road. Um, that's something you never want to forget about, is how good those attack debuffs can be in those Super Battle Road stages to sort of keep the enemy from doing a lot of damage, right? So um, definitely something to sort of keep in mind there. Um, all right, let, let's see what damage we get on this turn right here. So we're going to get a little bit more support from Metal Cooler, and of course we have uh, King Cold on rotation still. So, what are we looking at on this turn? So, we're at 100k defense, actually, at the start of turn. Um, we don't have Prodigies up anymore, though. So, we have Shattering the Limit. Um, and then we also have uh, Universe's Most Male... No, we have uh, Shattering the Limit, Bombardment, and Super Strike are active right here. So, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, th on this turn, King Cold um, cannot lower Goku's attack. So, we're going to see uh, Mecha Freeze with a bunch of his buffs up, but not the attack um, debuffing number, right? Because remember, you know, a lot of the tougher red zone stages and, you know, just tougher stages in the game in general, um, you're not going to be able to debuff a lot of enemies, right, um, in a lot of those stages. All right, so let's see what Mecha Freeze does right here. 4.35. As a free-to-play unit, I'm not really, like, super salty about his damage, um, I, I, I could see this guy actually being kind of, kind of good, right? Like, as long as you got the full Wicked Bloodline team, I think his defense will be solid. Damage-wise, is like, okay. Like, he, he seems much better to me than, like, the, the, the Trunks, right? Like, that Trunks is going to be, like, Savior Super Auto, and that's it. Like, he, his numbers did not impress me. Frieza feels a bit better, but he does still have, like, very wonky, like, Link set and stuff like that. Like, there's definitely issues Right? I feel like even this Frieza could have been made a little bit better. One more thing added to him could have been very good. Um, 
I feel like even like this this freezer right here is gonna be a free to play unit that'll be good forever because he's got like the guard and the damage reduction and the support um, against Sun family enemies. I feel like doing like some type of similar stuff um, for like these super strike units could be a very very good idea. Uh, we might uh, use Mecha Freeze on like one more uh, event. Um, and then I think we could finish up. I mean, we're getting a good look at what he's capable of doing. Um, I'll be interested to see what happens, what King Cold's uh, Awakening and Super Strike are going to look like. That will be very interesting, right? Because then, you know, you could utilize... King Cold brings out Frieza's full potential, basically, right? Um, and then if King Cold is actually good and you could run that rotation, it could be fairly interesting. All right, guys, we'll do uh, one more run, get a couple more rotations, um, and then we will go ahead and finish up. I mean, obviously, we got a pretty uh, non-ideal turn right here um, with double Ginyu, especially when we want, you know, full Wicked Bloodline. But, you know, we, we can sort of see um, what Mecha Frieza looks like with no support, no links activated. Sure, man. <laughs> uh, uh, this Goku and Vegeta is debuffed, though. So this is Frieza... You know, he's getting all of his buffs. 2.5 is, like, his minimum, though. I mean, that's, you know, a free-to-play unit where no links, no support. He's still at 2.5. Like, I feel like it's 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 solid-ish. It's definitely not damage where you're like, oh, uh, oh, cowabunga! Oh, my God, the damage, right? But, like, you know, he's at least, like, runnable. I I, I feel like this guy's a lot better uh, than that trunk. I just wish that this Frieza had a link set more in line with a lot of these, you know, Terrifying Conquer, Wicked Bloodline characters, though. That's the thing, right? Like, these Super Strike characters being filled up with, you know, Super Strike and Bombardment, it, it could hurt them quite a bit. Although, I don't think any Mecha Frieza characters um, have uh, Big Bad Bosses, but, I mean, there's no reason Frieza couldn't get Big Bad Bosses. I still Frieza. I guess it's just like, uh, Freeze is obviously not a big bad boss at the start of the Android Saga when he gets absolutely just disintegrated, right? So, I, I guess that is uh, definitely something. Um, okay, so let's see what we get on this rotation right here. Uh, after the, the cord, of course. <laughs> um, so, we're going to be linked up here with STR Cooler. Um, we potentially could have STR Cooler get a debuff on Gogeta if the cord is ever going to reconnect. All right, let's see what uh, Mecha Frieza gets on this rotation right here. So we'll have Cooler Super Attack first um, and debuff this Gogeta. So that way Mecha Frieza gets all these buffs. Uh, defensively, I feel like uh, Frieza does really want the full Wicked Bloodline rotation, though. I do think that is uh, fairly important for Frieza to have. So, you know, maybe like Wicked Bloodline Extreme Super Battle Road or something like that, like for like a free to play player. I feel like this, this Mecha Frieza could help, right? For sure. Um, all right, so let's see what attacks that Frieza gets, and then we'll probably finish up. So let me know what you guys think of this Mecha Frieza, if you guys think he's useful or, or not. Um, I mean, he got to a 5 million attack set, you know, 4 million right here. Um, I think as long as you're on the full Wicked Bloodline team, uh, this Frieza can at least do some stuff for you. And it's like, you know, I mean, we'll see what, like, an actual uh, Wicked Bloodline team would look like once they get, like, a proper lead, a 200% leader or something like that. Maybe Mecha Frieza could be good in that instance. Now, remember that this Mecha Frieza, by the way, is not on the 200% leader skill for Ginyu. Mecha Frieza is on Terrifying Conquerors, but he is not on Space Traveling Warriors, right? Keep that in mind. So this Frieza was not getting Ginyu's 200% leader skill. All right, guys. So this is Humiliation of the Most Malevolent Mecha Frieza. His leader skills physical and int type key 3 and 70% stats. His super attack is the Death Blaster, which raises defense by 30% for one turn, um, does supreme damage to the enemy, and then lowers enemy attack. His passive skill, Mechanical Enhanced Power, gives him 100% attack and defense when key is 6 or more. He gets 100% attack and defense when key is 9 or more. Then he gets 50% attack and defense when key is 12. Um, then he gets another 50% attack and defense if the enemy is in the attack down status. And then he gets another 100% defense if all allies attacking in the same turn are Wicked Bloodline. And then finally, he gets a high chance, a 50% chance to crit when all allies attacking in the turn are Revived Warrior, Resurrected Warrior characters. His links are Prodigies, Mechanical Menaces, Bombardment, Universe's Most Malevolent, Revival, Super Strike, and Shattered Limit. So... A pretty 
horrendous Link set, honestly, right? Like, I don't... I, I mean, maybe if Target Goku becomes a real team, this guy could link well with, like, Android 16, but it's like, you need a full Wicked Bloodline rotation anyway, right? So it's like, we're kind of waiting on, like, King Cold. I, I, it'll be, like, or maybe Chilled. Right? Like, if Chilled or King Cold are interesting, maybe that'd be better for this Frieza right here. Um, Frieza's 12 key multiplier is 140%. Uh, in terms of easies he could help out in, I don't think there's really any. Um, and then, in terms of his categories, Frieza does have a few categories here. So he, of course, is on the Revived Warrior category. This team definitely needs help, man. Uh, we need more characters for this team, for sure. Uh, Frieza is also over here on the Transformation Boost team. This is one of the teams I'm looking forward to, like, a 200% leader skill, the, like, the most at this point. Uh, then Frieza is also on Wicked Bloodline. Also, I really want a 200% for this team, which should be pretty interesting. Um, then Frieza is over here on the Android slash Cell Saga team, which has gotten a ton of buffs recently. Uh, Frieza is also over here on, what is this? This is Terrifying Conquerors right here. Yep, this is where we're doing all the showcases on today. Uh, then Freeze is also on target Goku. Uh, this will be an interesting team to see what this looks like, right? All these teams, like the combos for these 200% leader skills are going to be very interesting. Uh, then Freeze is down here on the Revenge team, one of the worst teams by far, easily, right? Definitely. Uh, then Freeze is also over here on Inhuman Deeds, a team that has like literally never gotten like a real lead ever. So we'll see. Um, then he's down here on the Gifted Warrior category team. Uh, and then finally, Frieza is on the Sworn Enemies team. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of the Super Strike Easy Mecha Frieza. Um, I think he's okay, right? Like, we, we could maybe see him help out in some Super Battle Road stages and stuff like that. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.